Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the Sejong the Great Class Destroyer from the Korean Navy. Please remember to like and subscribe. Alright, let's get right into it. Fact 1. Based on the Arle Berg class. The Sejong the Great Class Destroyer is actually completely based on the United States Navy destroyers. The Arleigh Bird class destroyers is the foundation footprint for the Sejong the Great class destroyers. The Korean Navy simply took what is really working well for the United States Navy and modified it to improve on what they perceive as the most critical features. As a result, the Sejong the Great class destroyer shares roughly the same platform as the Arleigh Bird class. And so from the outside, you will see they look roughly similar. However, there are some differences and we'll get into it in the later sections. I think it's very smart to take what is working with culmination of proven technology and experiences and simply iterate on it. That saves you so much time and effort in research and development. Alright, fact 2, Aegeus Combat System. Another similarity between the Sejong the Great class destroyer and the United States Navy destroyers is the use of the Aegis combat system. The Aegis combat system is essentially a target tracking air defense missile and attack system developed by Lockheed Martin. The Aegis combat system is essentially a three-dimensional high precision radar integrated combat system that is used for air defense as well as naval warship defense and attack. The AGS combat system is essentially the full suite of electronic warfare necessary to track targets, destroy targets, and also guide the missiles and rockets to the appropriate destinations. The Sejong the Great class did not have to reinvent any of this stuff. They simply took what is working in the United States Navy and incorporated it into their own. However, the Korean Navy also made their own improvements and configurations on the AGS combat system platform, mainly the software differences, because the Sejong the Great class destroyers needed to operate on homegrown South Korean missile systems and cannot just use the AGS combat system right out of the box. But since the foundational work has all been done and proven, it is much faster for the Korean developers to build on a proven system and adapt it to their needs. Alright. Fact 3. Multi-missile system. As I mentioned in the previous section, the Sejong the Great class uses the AGS combat system for radar control, guidance, and target tracking. In addition, the Sejong the Great class destroyer has so many different types of missiles equipped with it. This class of destroyers can not only use United States based weapons such as Tomahawk cruise missiles, RIM 116, or the standard missile SM 2 block type missiles, as well as SM 3 and SM 6 missile systems directly from the United States. In addition, the Sejong the Great class destroyer is also equipped with Korean Navy homegrown Tomahawk type cruise missile the Hyamu-3, as well as Red Shark anti-submarine rocket or the SSM-700K the Haesong missile system. All in all, the destroyer that has been created has so much firepower and is able to combine both existing weapons technology as well as newly developed homegrown technology that again leverages the foundation of other proven systems and simply iterate on them and improve them to another better degree. Cool, let's get into the next fact. Fact 4, equipped with a supercomputer. Another major innovation in the Sejong the Great class destroyer is the fact that it is equipped with a supercomputer on board. The supercomputer uses 5000 Intel CPUs and is able to calculate trajectories, crunch data, calculate radar trajectory, radar data, as well as other guidance systems 
in a very fast and efficient manner. This is all super critical because again, the main purpose of this destroyer is to fire off missiles that are highly advanced and they need to be right on target. And so with a supercomputer on board, you can be sure that all the inputs from various sensors, radar systems, or other optical sensors, all this input data can be quickly summarized, calculated, aggregated, and immediately fed to the combat systems so that they can fire off the missile and hit it right on target without any delay. Having a supercomputer aboard to calculate all the trajectories as well as manning the ship's electronic systems is highly critical and efficient. All right, let's get into the next and final fact, the Super Lynx helicopter. Similar to the Arleigh Bird class, the Sejong the Great class destroyer also has a helipad for helicopters. But instead of using the Seahawk that the United States uses, the Korean Navy decided to use the Super Lynx helicopter from the United Kingdom. Here's a picture of a s one in Denmark. I think it's very interesting that the Korean Navy decided to go against using the MH-60 Seahawk and went for the Super Lynx. The MH-60 Seahawk is a workhorse for the United States Navy and the de facto standard military helicopter for naval purposes. Again, as I mentioned, the United States destroyers are equipped with these type of helicopters whereas the Korean Navy went a different direction. I can't say one helicopter is better than the other, but again, for the Koreans, they're able to leverage the experiences and advantage and disadvantages of previous United States Navy deployments and leverage it to their advantage. All right, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.